sure. Uh, what did you study at Carleton? So I studied anthropology with a minor in sociology. Uh, I was good at it. I was getting good marks. I was passing all my classes. But near the end of it, I was just like, I don't think this is for me. Like I, the only thing that I was going to get out of that was either going to teacher's college or and becoming a teacher, high school teacher, which was my goal. Uh, or I was going to um, come out of that and get a job with the government. And it'd just be a really safe job that, you know, it'll give me money. It'll, uh, it'll pay my bills, but I won't be satisfied at work. And to be honest, that's the one thing that I really need in my life is like, I really need satisfaction uh, with what I do for my living. You know, it has to, I have to really think this is what I want to do because I, I can't half-ass anything. Like when I do something, I have to want to do it or I won't give it 100%. And if I don't give it 100%, then I'm like, why am I bothering to do this? Uh, you'd be a dope teacher. I, I don't think I would, man. Like I have patience, don't get me wrong, but like, I, I don't know if I could be a good teacher. Like, I, could I, like, if I know something, I can explain it a thousand different ways, but I don't know. I don't know if I could really be a, be a teacher as my job. But this, this here is the album that got me my free studio time. This is the album here that, you know, that guy who was coming in and, and being like, yo man, like, what are you doing in the studio? Like if, if you go on my YouTube, uh, my YouTube channel, the first video there is how I, how I got a, uh, how I finessed a free studio. Or, uh, and this was what I was recording. I, I ended up playing like playing him like a good like like I think I prepared played up to prepare for liftoff. Uh, no, welcome to welcome to part because like this album comes in two different parts. There's like a hard part and a soft part. Or sorry, a soft part and a hard part. Like two different parts. So I don't know. It's kind of cool. Like the transition through. There's like a whole like if you watch Rick and Morty, I took like sounds of the ship taking off from Rick and Morty, and then I had like other like bass going behind it and it would all like swirl around your head it was like a cool transition from like one side to another and like to me that was the coolest thing i'd ever made at the time um just having uh just having to have a passion and shit honestly man like i find with one like one thing that really gets me through anything is having a passion like if i'm having a tough time with anything i think about my passion what it is that i really really want to do and how the t what i'm having a tough time with how uh my passion is going to get me through that you know, it's like if I'm having a really, really bad day and I can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, I can't see why it is I do anything. You know, I'm just I'm just struggling all day. I'm just like, you know, in a tough spot. I think about what am I doing right now and is what I'm doing right now going to help push me forward into any sort of progress? So, you know, if I'm sitting there just moping around and not really, you know, thinking about how how to get better. No, it's, I'm, I'm not doing myself any favors. So I'm just like, you know what? I got to snap out of this mood. I got to find something productive to do and do it and push myself towards uh, my final.